In the previous video, we compared vectors and scalars, and so now let's look at an example to help us understand. So Mr. Richardson rode his bike to school. He rode west at 20 kilometers per hour for 10 minutes. Then he stopped for 5 minutes to take a rest. Then he took 15 minutes to ride 3 kilometers north. Okay, it might be helpful if we draw a picture of what's happening here. So he rode west. Oh, let's do it down here. He rode west for 10 minutes. It's a good idea to draw a little picture sometimes with these word problems. Helps you break it down into its parts. So there's t 10 minutes for west. Oh, and then a five minute rest because he's kind of out of shape. And then 15 minutes to ride three kilometers north. Okay, so 15 minutes and three kilometers north. Okay, and this is the start. We'll call this the origin. Origin means start. Okay, we don't know how far he traveled here at first. We know he traveled for 10 minutes and he traveled at 20 kilometers per hour 20 kilometers per hour and one hour is 60 minutes so that's the same thing and that lets the minutes cancel and if you put that in your calculator you should get 3.3 kilometers so this is 3.3 kilometers Okay. if that is confusing for you please go and see the video called unit conversions so the distance traveled is pretty simple the first part was 3.3 kilometers and then he went 3 kilometers north so the total distance is 6.3 kilometers now let's look at the displacement now remember displacement is the change in position so he started here at the origin and finished here so his displacement is this distance here. So here we have a right triangle. We're going to use some Pythagorean theorem to calculate this, his displacement. So we've got 3.3 .3 squared plus 3 squared gives us d squared, displacement squared. displacement squared. Okay, now I'm going to assume that you know how to do Pythagorean theorem, and I'm going to skip to the answer here, which is displacement is equal to 4.5 kilometers northwest. Remember, it has to be a direction, and it's northwest because it's up and to the left. Now, if you don't understand how I got this, uh, you can come and see me, and we can go through it. Average speed, that's the... We can write it like this. That's the speed, that's the average speed, is the total distance over the total time. So that was 6.3 kilometers, that's the total distance, over the total time. The total time of the trip was 30 minutes. 15 plus 15. 5 plus 10 is 30 minutes. And that works out to 0.21 kilometers per minute. Now, kilometers per minute, that's okay. That's not wrong. But usually we don't use kilometers per minute. Usually it's kilometers per hour or meters per second. It doesn't really matter. But let's just change this into kilometers per hour just so you can. See, 0.21 kilometers per minute, that's the same as writing it this way, multiplied by a conversion factor, which is 60 minutes is the same as one hour. Minutes cancels, and we get 12.6 kilometers per hour. 
Notice there's no direction because this is speed and speed is a scalar. Now you might be looking at this and you might be thinking, yeah, I get this, this is easy. Please use your calculator and check it for yourself. Pause the video and check it for yourself. And the last thing to do is look at average velocity. Our average velocity is the, like that, and it's the displacement over time. And we've established that the displacement was 4.5 kilometers northwest. The time is still 30 minutes. And that gives us 0 0.15 kilometers per minute northwest. Or if you convert it to kilometers per hour, you should get 9 kilometers per hour northwest.